I was just thinking about we haven't really talked about, you know, people's attitude and proficiency around guns. And it's come up quite a bit so far in our story. But anyway. I want a gun. You do? Yeah, the more I think about it, I think that it's it's a good thing to have. I told you about you know, a, a, a legal a legal gun, not not. Oh, can you have one in New York? Yeah, oh, okay. it's hard. It's hard to it's hard to get the license, but you can get a license. Okay. I don't think there's anything in my background that would preclude me from getting one. I hope not. Okay. Maybe this is easy. Anybody else? I told you we depend on Kim. What did I tell you? We depend on Kim. You have to work out, Kim. Your turn to join Jack. What's going on, girl? Yeah, well, well, I've had a few jobs where I've had to use weapons. So I have training, and at one time, I really liked them. But then, <laughs> <laughs> but but then I you know I started being more conscious, especially you know watching you know gun violence being committed, and then having a gun a weapon in my home, and being aware okay, now things can happen you know I can get up in the middle of the night and I hear something and I shoot the wrong person and I started thinking about the things that could go wrong with me having this gun. So I have, you know, weapons for protection. I'd rather not have to use them. Uh, but I know what to do if I have to. You make sure they're inside the house. <laughs> That's all you know. <laughs> and you didn't shoot them in the back, and you tell them, I, I was, my back was against the wall, and there was nothing else I could do. <laughs> So even if you have to drag them from the front door, <laughs> they should know what to do. Protect them too. All right. And I heard weapons plural. <laughs> <laughs> weapons. Okay. You need a backup. I haven't seen those movies where you gun jams. I don't want to be that person. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. How do you feel about that, Kim? How do you feel about being armed? Not Kim, but Randy. How do you feel about that? I um I want to learn. I still don't know how to shoot. My mom does. She got on um, training like like a year after her divorce. <laughs> and my grandfather, he um, uh, okay. he the one who who went to Vietnam. He has a gun. He, I think he has more than one. But I was spending a night with him um, before we got our apartment because I had training at like another campus, and I you know got in bed, put my earplugs in. I, getting comfortable and my hand hits something, you know, hard under the pillow. And I'm, I'm you know, I pick it up, you know, I grip it, you know, I grip the handle and I'm like, what? Like, I, don't, I pop up and it's a gun. It is wow. a real live, real live gun under the pillow. Like, I could have died. <laughs> I, could have died. Yeah. I, I was freaking out. And of course, my grandfather. Oh, my you know, God. I have some Gemini's. I'm a little trauma, traumatized by Gemini's. He's a Gemini. I don't think Gemini's grow out of their like need for like adventure and whatever. So he was out and about at some jazz club. It's like two a.m. in the morning, and he's not even in the house for me to fuss at him. So I just you know I pick up the gun and I like put it away. But he had it under his pillow. Didn't tell me nothing. Yeah. That really that really freaked me out. And I I had you know because I don't know how to deal with them. I don't know if the safety was on or. Like nothing, so I'm just like, if I'm asleep, you know, and I'm ripping yeah. this gun out in my sleep, it's over, yeah. you know. So I do not believe in putting them under your pillow. Right. So, right. But, right. but um, and I, I really don't like guns. I won't let Mikey have one in the house. I just, I, I mean, I understand, and maybe when if it gets like this in the book, I'll definitely have them around in like little pockets. But in terms of under the pillow type thing, as that really freaked me out because that could have went way left. Real quick, that was you know. Yeah. So, wow. That was my experience. Yeah. And this was recently. This was like beginning of March. A oh, few weeks ago. We are glad you're with us. Wow. Right. Okay. You're check. How do you feel about it? 
<laughs> How do you feel about guns, Vanita? Oh, I feel fine about them. Yeah. <laughs> You know, I mean, I, I, I don't have a gun in my home. I know how to shoot a gun and handle a gun. I have had, had a gun, and I know what to do with it. And um, But, no, I'm not afraid of a gun, and I'm not afraid to use it um, in, the, in, in the context of this book. You know, I'm not Corey, okay? Um, I, I'm not a person that, you know, one of those folks who see flinging a, a rifle on my shoulder going up on Capitol Hill. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that type, or running around down Texas at Seven Eleven, one flung over my shoulder. But you know, having a meeting, having a meeting it didn't work out. It didn't work out. Not for me. But um, no, um, I, I I don't mind. I mean, you have to do what you have to do. You know, I wouldn't. I, I you no, know, I'm to protect myself and my family. Um, I will shoot you. No talk. Five times, whatever it is. <laughs> four, four girls that don't mind shooting the gun if they have to use it. Michelle, how do you feel about it? I, I don't know. I, oh, uh, no, please. <laughs> I don't. I don't have a gun. I've never had a gun. I've never shot a gun. I don't know how to shoot a gun. Michelle, what's that on top of the microwave? It's not a gun. <laughs> <laughs> No, and and um, I was telling Vanita recently. Uh, this story reminded me of when when I was a child, and the family had been out at some church event, and when we got back to the house, the house had been burglarized, and so my father went upstairs and came back down, waving this gun around, talking about, you know, if they came back, he had something for. Them. Now, of course. They weren't coming back. <laughs> he was just talking, talking stuff. But um, you know, I remember feeling protected, knowing that he had a gun. Then um, when he died, when I was nineteen, my mother gave his gun away to one of his friends, and she said she didn't want to have it in the house. Because I was so emotional. <laughs> like, I could be a little hot tempered. <laughs> oh, Lord, have mercy. It was probably best. <laughs> All right. <laughs> what did you do, Michelle? Uh, if you, but if you had to, would you use it? I I think I think if yes I think that if I had to I think that I could um, okay you know I think that if things were as bad as they are presented in this book mm -hmm. that I would go ahead and do whatever I had to do to get a gun but you know that's all speculation since I since I've never had to do it. But you have to. But I do try to stay out of situations where, you know, I think I would feel provoked or, you know, like I don't, I don't, um, I don't like hanging around with men that make me feel like they might kill me, you know. <laughs> That's a good habit. <laughs> so, that I might have to kill them. Um, you know, I, I try to avoid those kinds of situations. No, the gist of it is that we have the fifth cowgirl on board. <laughs> yes. yes. We were there. We you have to train me, Georgette. All right. That, that's all. Awesome. We got Georgette. Point it away from both of us. Uh-uh. Five cowgirls. We are not pulling. <laughs>